So what, what do you think about people blaming other people to, is it an excuse to get out of it or does it make them feel I mean, better about themselves? At, I mean, of course we know why we do that. It's very easy because when you blame somebody else, it, you know, it eases the burden on yourself. Now, um, what blaming others and, and other situations does is it puts you in a passive state of mind. That's the wrong thing. And I'm not saying sometimes, you know, like right now, Corona. Of course, we can blame a lot of things that happened to us on Corona. And, you know, it would be rightly so. But the thing is that that doesn't help us. We can't do. We put ourselves in that uh, pet situation, you know. Oh, it's Corona, so I can't do anything about it. So the the, the magic is, I, I call these the extreme ownership but the magic is to say okay you know what can i do what can i improve what things did i overlook um and and then go and do those things so you know like instead of putting yourself in that passive situation where you can't do anything um you need to put yourself in in the action taker extreme ownership mindset um, and even if it has nothing to do with you, it's better for you if you say, okay, this is all on me. I didn't maybe lay down all the right foundations for a pandemic like this, even though, of course, nobody was expecting it. And how can you lay down foundations for that? But, you know, if you put yourself in that active position, you'll find things that you can do, that you can change, what you can pivot, what you can do differently. Like you'll find things that you can do. And this is something that I find often with entrepreneurs that they are too much, not just blaming, blaming is one thing, but also, you know, oh, I don't have this. I don't have that. Focusing on things that they don't have. Focusing on who to put blame onto instead of focusing on what can I do with what I have. 